A Scranton couple is locked up tonight for what prosecutors say is a massive burglary spree throughout four counties. Francis Smith and his wife Dory now face dozens of charges. Prosecutors say over a nine-month period, that couple burglarized homes in Lackawanna, Wayne, Wyoming, and Carbon counties. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Dable is live at the state police barracks in Dunmore with more about the investigation. Eric. Candace, Nick, good evening. From guns and jewelry to collectible coins, antique clocks, even Christmas decorations. State police say the Smiths wanted it all. In fact, Dory Smith told investigators that for that nine month period, she and her husband considered burglarizing homes to be their day job. The pattern and breadth of the brazen conduct in this case is nothing short of breathtaking. It took a while for investigators to piece everything together, but tonight they believe they've solved dozens of burglaries. We believe that this is the largest burglary spree of its kind in the history of northeastern Pennsylvania and certainly in the history of Lackawanna County. Between November 2016 and September 2017, prosecutors believe Francis Smith and his wife Dory ransacked 26 different homes as well as the shortened homes business in Dixon City. They got away with more than $900,000 in cash and items, including 50 guns, furniture, and paintings. The couple allegedly sold as many of the items as they could, but a lot of the things were found inside their home here in the 1400 block of Sanderson Avenue in Scranton. That's what they did? Mm-hmm. Yes, and you knew it. Yeah, he didn't work. Neighbor Clara Camerata says she isn't surprised at all. I would see people coming and going. They would come and go in the middle of the night, um, in the front of the house, in the back of the house. State police say the couple didn't just ransack some of the homes once. Troopers say the Smiths went back to a number of properties a second time, looking for anything they missed. The couple that uh, they hit multiple times, they weren't even cleaned up from the first time their house was entered and they came home and found it in disarray again. Now police say they first caught on to the couple back in 2017 after a home break in in the Mount Cobb area. Charges were filed, but the Smiths fled. It wasn't until last May that they were arrested down in Florida. Now since that time, state troopers here in the Dunmore barracks have been relying and using DNA testing and technology, uh, using things and items left at the crime scenes like cigarette butts and soda bottles to try and link Francis and Dory Smith to all of these crimes. We're live tonight at the barracks in Dunmore. Eric Dable, Eyewitness News. Eric, thank you. And both Francis and Dory Smith were denied bail at their arraignments today. The judge cited the severity of the charges and that they could be a flight risk.